hope it shows up. There's a giant rainbow on steroids over there. It's very low, but it's really thick. adjusted the contrast to try and catch the colour. That's um southwest, so I've never seen that before. Never anyway, getting out of here. Um, new keyword, super sun, cold front. We have a severe weather warning. Um, southeast side of Australia going all the way to South Australia which is west of me um, it's actually calmed down a bit now but I had to put the backyard back together in the early hours last night when this thing hit and it's only getting worse so. Anyway, I'm getting out of this slush that's falling out of the sky. Be safe guys. See you. Newcastle region, at least 50 residents of the Westcott Community Care Home in Stockton have now been evacuated. More than 80 square metres of roofing has been lifted off. Emergency services are trying to relocate the residents. And four mm -hmm. people have been injured after their car was crushed by a tree in Victoria's Yarra Ranges. Destructive winds caused the trunk to snap on the Maroondah Highway at Fernshaw, triggering a frantic rescue operation. A child has been pulled to safety by emergency service workers and taken to hospital in a stable condition. Three people remain trapped in the car. Meanwhile, in South Australia, residents are counting the cost after the state was lashed with strong winds and heavy rain. Gertie Spurling reports. Good morning. The conditions have eased overnight, but it is still expected to be quite gusty today and rains forecast later this afternoon with a chance of a thunderstorm too. That front rolled in around midday. We were warned it would pack a punch and it certainly did with wind gusts in excess of 100 kilometres an hour, sending trees toppling and wiping out power to thousands of homes and businesses. Our SES crews were kept very busy responding to more than 350 calls for help. Around 80 came in from the Mount Gambier region where a watch and act message had to be issued as the conditions were so treacherous. We're now being blasted by this cold air mass which will keep the temperature right down into early next week. Our overnight temperatures will dip below 10 degrees. We're heading for a low of just 5 on Tuesday. So some very chilly conditions still to come. Now to more